Hi there. So in this video, we're going to talk about the sacroiliac joint and I'm going to go through what, what happens to it with normal people and how it should function and what happens to people who have OP and how this leads to, how dysfunction in the sacroiliac joint leads to the dysfunction in the pubic bone and the adductors that causes OP. So let's start with how a healthy sacroiliac joint should function. So there's a lot of muscles and tissues that go into making the sacroiliac joint and getting it to function correctly, but we're only going to go through a couple of them. So this is your sacroiliac joint. You have an ilium, an ilium, so each side of the pelvis, and then you have a sacrum in the center, and then your spine would continue on through here. The sacroiliac joint is where these two bits meet. Now what you'll notice is that there are two ways that the sacroiliac joint can function. It can function in a locked position, so that's when each side of the ilium really jams in and compresses and fits really securely into the sacrum. Then there's an unlocked position where essentially we pop the sacrum open and you have mobility. So this ilium can now rotate forwards and backwards because it's not jammed tight into the sacrum. Now, locked and unlocked positions have their advantages and disadvantages. If you're about to lift a really heavy weight or you're falling over, you're going to want to lock this sacrum because the sacrum is the base of your lower spine and obviously the base of your central nervous system. You don't want any danger or you don't want to sever your spinal cord. So you will lock your sacroiliac joint to make a nice stable pelvis and lower back. Now this is good in those kind of emergency situations, but when you're running and when you're walking, you need a mobile sacroiliac joint. So if you're walking, you're going to need to unlock your pelvis so that you can rotate your leg up and down as you take a stride. And you're gonna to need to swap this because obviously one leg is gonna be lifting in the air as the other's on the ground, and then you're gonna swap. So you're gonna to have to rotate each side differently with each step. And you can't do that if your sacroiliac joint is locked. It needs to be unlocked so that you can make that rotation. If it's stuck in each other, it can't rotate, and you're gonna to have to start twisting your pelvis, which we'll get to later.